In this week's show, stories of people trying to use numbers to describe things that should not be quantified. Most how to s promise that you'll not only learn skills, you'll be transformed. And then, an appreciation of wackiness, and an analysis of wackiness in American culture. After years of covering stories about medicine, Rebecca Pearl enters the hospital as a patient. This show was recorded in front of a live audience at the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts in San Francisco, with help from KQED-FM, during the 98 public radio conference in San Francisco. A woman who had been diagnosed with cystic fibrosis talks about the lies she told herself as a child. And Dengadai Man tells the story of how he was cast in the public TV show Zoom, which aired from 1972 to 1979, at the age of 10. People who love camp say that non-camp people simply don't understand what is so amazing about camp. In this program, we attempt to bridge the gap of misunderstanding between camp people and non-camp people. And other stories about people who map the world using smell, sound, touch, and taste. They take a tape recorder with them to make a kind of audio journal of their trip. What they find, who they meet, and what they learn in this experiment in 19th century travel. One last moment of asserting the fact of our existence, at the moment of our annihilation. On the first day, any first day, we're expected to live by the rules and customs of the culture we're entering, but we don't know those rules and customs just yet. Taped before a live audience in Town Hall in New York City in December 1998, this was a CO production with WNYC New York, featuring live music by the pop band They Might Be Giants and the This American Life Orchestra.